Nola Jet here at the Admiral Hotel in Mobile, Alabama. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Jet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our USA Travel Vlog, we do a USA Hotel tour of the Admiral, a Wyndham Hotel in downtown Mobile, Alabama, for an Alabama hotel tour. The Admiral is located in Mobile at 251 Government Street, which is about 2 hours and 142 miles from the New Orleans French Quarter. This is one of the best Mobile, Alabama hotels, and a lot of history has been made at this location. This Art Deco hotel originally opened in 1940 as the Admiral Sims Hotel and was the first hotel in Mobile to provide air conditioning and telephones in every guest room. This hotel's location in the Mobile Theater District is also near the center of Mobile's nightlife on Dauphin Street, which is a more calm version of New Orleans Bourbon Street. The Admiral is 12 stories high with 156 standard guest rooms and 5 luxury multi-room suites on the top floor. The hotel has two restaurants, a fitness center, eight event areas including a ballroom and an outdoor pool. They don't offer free parking here, but they do have a paid parking lot directly across the street. So we're walking back from the parking area and we're heading into the hotel to check this place out. So it is a beautiful area here and it is a very beautiful looking hotel from the exterior. So there's a lot of interesting things in this area and we will be exploring a lot of the downtown area later tonight. But the first things are first, we've got to get settled into the hotel room. I'm going on a big adventure with my pal the Major, but we're kicking it off here. So let's head on inside the Admiral and check it out. This is my first visit here, I believe. Although I might have popped in in the past a few times, but I've never stayed here. So I'm excited to see how the rooms are. It is a beautiful hotel when you first enter. There's so many wonderful things to see. They definitely start out with impressing you. So I do like this wonderful, beautiful area when you first walk in. And of course, I'm immediately drawn to these stairs. So I've got to go up this grand staircase and see what's at the top. So uh, it certainly is a very impressive, beautiful stairway. And I could see how this would be a wonderful area for events. So when I'm first heading up, you're immediately drawn to the ballroom. So I imagine there's probably some nice Mardi Gras ball events and other special events that happen up in here. This is a really decent sized room, so you could have some good times in here and very nice events. And as we walk over, they certainly have this space optimized in the wonderful Art Deco style that just draws you in and certainly creates a sense of beauty and balance as I walk through. And ooh, look over here. I think we have a little balcony area to explore. So this is a great addition. Although this view is not the prettiest as we can only see a little bit of the park area to the left and then it's mostly just big tall buildings blocking everything else. In the past, I think it might have been a more beautiful view, but we have a solution for that. So as we continue to explore, I think we've got the ability to go and see a balcony view with a much better view. So let's see, there's another one of the conference rooms here. So this is open and this is kind of what the conference rooms look like. So you can have some nice meetings in here and it's a good size space. And then as we go down in this direction towards the front of the building, I believe that there is a balcony we can see the park area, get a much more aesthetically pleasing view and just uh, enjoy ourselves a little more out here. So if I'm getting a little fresh air, I like to see more trees and nature. So it's fun to see all the people walking by here. This is a little more active area and definitely a beautiful park space and definitely a better view of downtown Mobile. So we don't have our view obstructed by the tall buildings on this side. So this is definitely the preferable balcony, I would say. And you definitely can get some nice views here. So I would uh, suggest probably skipping the other balcony and sticking to this one. I definitely think this view is far superior. So uh, if you've got to pick one, this is the one to choose. Now, I did try to explore some other areas, but I got yelled at when I simply walked downstairs to another area and looked, but then this is the downstairs pool area, and this is a beautiful area. 
Um, now, when I got yelled at, they told me it was a restricted area, even though there was no sign saying so. I simply went down some stairs. They said, Arr, get out of here, restricted area. Here's the fitness center that was locked up and closed due to uh, current situation, maybe, of uh, some worldwide thing going on. So going back into the lobby area here, we certainly can see there's lots of comfortable spots and places and so many beautiful things to look at. There's the guest check-in counter there, but we're going to go on over to the elevators. Look at these really beautiful Art Deco elevators. These are uh, certainly pleasant things to look at. We'll see how good of a ride we have in there, though. So as we go inside, I kind of expected them to be a little more Art Deco and decorated inside, but they're overall pretty decent elevators in general compared to a lot of the more modern ones. And you've got some mirrors to say hello to everybody. Okay, I think we're almost to the 11th floor. So they have some pretty interesting looking card themed artwork when you first exit onto the 11th floor here. And we got our Joker here. So wait, the Major must be around. Where is that Joker? He's uh, right ahead of me going really fast. I gotta catch up to him. So they have some uh, beautiful carpeting in this area. Although there was a strong smell of marijuana in this hallway. All right, we got a room with a major here. So we got room 1112, and look at this great Art Deco number. All right, let's see what we've got to see in here. Oh, wow. That's kind of an interesting light. Oh. A locked door we can't get into. Our typical electronic keyless door entry, which seems to be the standard these days. Aha, the mini fridge. No cold beverages. A little taste of getting burnt here. A little smoky. So our coat hangers on the luggage rack where they should be in this closet. Over here at the sink, we have our complimentary hair and skincare products, soap, etc. Oh, this is a nice shower. <laughs> Major took the comfortable bed over here. Got a nice desk. Ah, oh, here's the coffee. So this will all be consumed shortly. The Major will consume all of this coffee. I'm going to be a little grumpy though because they don't have the official coffee of the Nolagent channel, the Dead Sled Coffee Company. And hey, I've got a 20% discount code for y'all if you want to try it. All right, there we go. We checked in. The lady told us that uh, we had a great view out of this room. There's a lot of green mold on the window, so that is a little detriment. Otherwise, it is a great view of Mobile here. Hmm. A little scrub. Time is overdue for the window. Mold or algae, whatever it is. Yeah, let's drink a shot, it'll be fine. So uh, the Major has smuggled in his moonshine from Gatlinburg, Tennessee here. There's gonna be trouble later tonight. So tune in next time for more of our adventures as Major and I are gonna do quite a lot more fun stuff. Thanks to everybody at the Admiral Hotel, other than that guy that was yelling at me simply because I walked downstairs. Ah, that was very bad manners. And thanks to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. So make sure to go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think about this video. While you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. And make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolajet channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.